remember coming home and there was a new cartoon starting. The guy took out a sword and held it up and lightning came out and then he started like rippling. And I saw and I was like, I want to be He-Man. Best male poser, second place. This is the overall award. So I'm training and one day I see this guy. He goes, you want to come with me to show? I said, what show? He goes, well, I'm a stripper. They wanted a soldier. Jim carries the mask, Spider-Man. Zorro was a big one. The question is, is there anything this guy can't do? Somebody said to me the other day, oh, you're going through a midlife crisis. I'm like, midlife crisis? What the hell does that mean? And out of the blue, my friend George calls me and says, can I crash at your place? Where's my money? Eh, what money? Oh, shit. <laughs> We're looking for George. George? I don't know where George is, man. Give us your boy! We know you have him. This guy owes me 30 grand. Please, just go meet with him, pick it up. All right, man, so you got the money? Yo, where's George? You forget about George, man. George is gone, he ain't coming back. Give me what I need, and you'll be free. So where's George? I don't know where he is. It looks like they want to add conspiracy to the count. If you go to trial and you lose, they're going to give you 10 years. If you want to take the plea, you can serve those five years congruently. And they tell you five years in prison, that's a hard pill to swallow. This is your best bet. I get the paper that morning. It was my lawyer's face. He got caught taking orders to have somebody murdered. My lawyer became the rat. He asked me not to be. We may not have the storybook life that we've been promised at birth. But no matter what you think of it, life will always go on. <laughs>